Hi. So I wanted to uh, to document an amazing coincidence or synchronicity that has occurred to me today, mapping energy lines. I started out this morning in Bielowice, where I'd found um, a church with two energy lines crossing through it, so a bit of an energy vortex, and I've been tracking the two energy lines. The problem was, was I tracked the energy line, one of the energy lines, to the edge of Bielowice, and into a farmer's field, and then lost in the countryside, farmer's fields and forests. No crossing paths, no crossing roads, no way to, to find it. So I looked at mappy.cz, which is a, like a Google Maps, but specific to the Czech Republic and very detailed. And I saw that maybe six, four, five, six kilometers across was Šobašica, and maybe the energy line would run through that particular village because it was on the right azimuth if you want. I looked at the village quite carefully on mappy.cz to see what kind of features there were. Was there a church? I couldn't find a church. What I did find was a monastery. On arrival, um, the village is uh, basically one street with a few streets off of, off of it, and I couldn't find anywhere to park. So I went up and down the main street uh, trying to find a place to park. It's a bus station opposite, that's what you can hear, a bus station opposite the monastery and just no place to park. So eventually, after going up and down the street about six times, I just pulled into one of the streets off the main street here, and immediately I saw a parking place outside of somebody's house, so I hope they don't get too pissed with me. Anyway, so I park the car there, I walk out the street, 100 meters or so, I douse in and around, well, first of all, I asked the stick, I asked one of my sticks, where is the energy line I'm trying to track? and it showed me I was more or less on top of it. I, I didn't really believe it because that would be too much luck. Um, but then I started to douse, and across the road from the monastery is a marker crucifix, like a roadside marker. And I found the energy line, of course, goes through the monastery and through the crucifix, as if that wasn't a miracle enough. I then decided, aha, so if, if it follows that direction, it must go around the street into the street that I parked the car. You guessed it, I parked the car on the energy line. How the hell does that happen? How, I, I've got shivers up and down my spine just thinking about it. Let me show you. So this is the monastery across the street. It's a fairly modern monastery, which is why when I showed up here, I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to work out. You can see the cross on the roof there. And here is the bus station, which is always very noisy. And this is the busy main road with no parking. And there's the crucifix, the roadside marker. And yes, the line passes through the, pretty much through the crucifix and through the monastery. So I'm in the energy line now and I'm using the stick to point to the direction and it's pointing through this home and into the street where I parked. So I walk around the corner and I walk down the street with the rods. It's at this point that I suddenly began to realize that the chances were, given the angles and everything, that my car was going to be parked in that energy line. And sure enough, it is. I think that's pretty weird. A pretty weird synchronicity and proof that uh, there's some relationship between these energy lines and myself and I'm in the right mood. I was then able to continue through the side streets in the village here, tracking it to the edge of the village and now I've got to do the same again, which is hop over to another village about four or five kilometers away and start the whole process of elimination again. Cheers. Okay, so uh, another little strange synchronicity or miracle has just occurred. So I was in Šobašica and I drove back into Brno, Kral of Apollo, in order to basically drive back out on another road to pick up the same energy line uh, further across. And then I realised, well actually, I'm driving towards the, another line heading out of Brno north that I've only got so far mapping, so I may as well stop pick that up and see where that goes and kind of pick up the other line later in the afternoon. 
So I'm driving along the road, I passed the place where I last mapped it, about a kilometre south of here. And again, I'm looking for a place to park, the street's busy, can't find anywhere, so I pull off uh, in the direction of where I believe the line will be, and I find a parking place. As I pull up into the parking place, I see a communist era plinth, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder. Yes, I found it. I parked right on top of the energy line. It goes straight through the communist plinth. I just, sometimes it's just like mind boggling. So here is the plinth and that's where the energy line goes through. It actually um, passes roughly down the street, actually, uh, down the street, down that street and um, sort of uh, pretty much where I'm standing right now more or less down the street and then up uh, through those cars I would imagine in that direction so I shall follow it in a minute there's actually a restaurant here I may stop for lunch and look where I parked the car yeah the white one I, I just like I said the mind boggles it's absolutely amazing how this works it really is I'm also beginning to have some real strange thoughts about the nature of reality. I watched um, a Thomas Sheridan video this morning that popped up as I was drinking my morning coffee and uh, it was about cloud busting and um, it was a video of some guy basically watching a cloud and making it disappear with the power of his mind and uh, I tried that this morning and did it immediately with no effort whatsoever. Never tried it before but um, I just took a small cloud that was uh, below the normal cloud level because it's a cloudy day today and I just focused on it and I just kept saying in my mind dissipate, dissipate, dissipate. It took about two minutes, it was gone. And starting out the day with that exercise, I kind of got inside of reality somehow inside my mind and it seems to me that ever since then I've been acting on this sort of intuition around reality or kind of creating reality as I go. I mean, it's, I don't really know which way around it works, but I'm telling you, it works. It's magic. Thinking further about it, I guess the same applies to the feathers and the butterflies. If you've been reading my blogs or watching the odd video, um, I talk all the time about how for the last few weeks, everywhere I go is feathers little grey, white, even blue feathers. And at first I thought, well, yeah, you know, um, actually there's some feathers down there. Uh, I, I thought, well, yeah, birds are molting all the time. It's just, you know, it's just one of those things. And then one morning I got up and I crossed my hallway and I found three grey feathers in the hall. I mean, where the hell did they come from? They didn't come from any bird because I can tell you there's no birds in my hall. And if you saw the video that I posted of dowsing Michelchitzer, you'll have seen the butterfly behaviour. And when I'm doing this work, when I'm dowsing, usually there's butterflies landing on me. It's all part of that bending reality, I think. It's all, all part of blending into the environment magically and, and bending reality as a result. Or reality bends around you. See the feathers? While I'm on the topic, Imagine, I'm a foreigner in this country, and after COVID and the lockdown and borders closed, there aren't as many of us around as there usually are. So I'm wandering around towns and villages around Brno, you know, with a pair of dowsing rods, walking around, and people, people either don't notice me, or if they do, they'll ask me, well, what am I doing, that kind of thing. And the fact that I speak back to them in English doesn't seem to faze them at all. It's bizarre. I mean, they talk back to me in English, but I get, again, it's like somehow I'm bending reality around my consciousness. I'm beginning to to worry a little bit because um, yesterday and today I've been doing a bit of this mapping 
And it's almost like being on the liminal edge of reality. Because what I've noticed also, not just the feathers and the butterflies and the little synchronicities, but also some very bizarre people who I would call liminal people living on the boundary of reality, if they're real at all. Yesterday, as I was mapping an energy line, I came across an, um, an area where there was like a wall into somebody's backyard and facing the road and sat there on a seat was an old lady with silver hair. She looked at me, I looked at her, and then she kept putting her hand under the fence. She kept putting her hand under the fence as if looking for something. And finally, when I came back, she was gone. Just now, as I'm mapping this line, I went into a, an old, I don't know, abandoned area with a factory and, and some garages and things. And there was an old guy that looked like Santa Claus sitting there by one of the garages. He looked at me and I'm, I'm beginning to doubt my sanity. Is the guy real? <laughs> Is this just the liminal people that you meet on the liminal edge of reality? And I'm beginning to realize I'm wrapping my, I'm wrapping reality around my consciousness and changing it. Is that bizarre? And if all that is true, and I think it probably is, at least in my reality, then I begin to see how it is really possible to change reality, to do cloud busting. I have described it inadvertently as wrapping reality around my consciousness. And I think when you engage in connecting with the land, the environment, and you magically kind of integrate yourself into it, you're on the liminal, liminal edge of something. And in that liminal edge, those little synchronicities of magic and of bending reality or wrapping reality around your consciousness, I think that's what happens. I really do. And just another one, just to blow your mind a little bit. I'm, uh, I stopped about two or three blocks up, just randomly. I'm looking for the energy line on one of these cross streets. And having been talking about reality and consciousness, guess the name of the street. Bear in mind the checks always end with uh, names with OVAR. So just after realizing that I was on Bomovar Street, I couldn't find the line and this butterfly off the pavement flew up in front of me. And there's the butterfly. Yep. And guess what? Where the butterfly is, where the butterfly flew up off the pavement in front of me, that's where I find the energy line. This is getting ridiculous. I haven't tracked the two energy line, the energy line across and I finished up finding yet another vortex in this church in Lelikovica. And to my utter amazement, I had no idea, but this is also the site of a castle and a fort and has been there for, for many, many, many centuries as a special place. What a day, unbelievable.